Hit it. New, 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 new. New, 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 new. Okay. This week in the store. Okay. Got a six pack of alligator clip to um, header jumpers. These are pretty handy. We already had them in a 12 pack. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive than plain alligator clip cables because, you know, you have to get this custom cable made. But, uh, you know, they're very handy. Look, you can, you know, easily plug it into your DHT sensor, your breadboard. It's really good for connecting to um, gemmas or things with random wires. And then you plug it into a breadboard very easily. Yeah. So uh, this is pretty much it. You get one of each color. You get six. Very handy. I, I use these all the time. Put them over there. Yeah, yeah. you can see that. That's nice. Yeah, you can see they're very easy to open. They're not too slippery. And then you can uh, grab things, all sorts of different colors, and then plug the other side into a breadboard. Very okay. nice. It's premium, high quality. Next up. It's here. It's an update to the Metro Classic. This is the Atmega 328 metro which is you know the most popular one we have so far we also have the metro m0 express but this one uh is arduino id compatible and you know basically works just like a classic arduino so people really like it uh, you can also program in avr gcc directly if you like and uh we just updated this to now come with two hole headers which uh, will make some people happy. It's a little more stable, but now that we have the selective solder machine, it's easy for us to do. So uh, it comes through whole. I can just show that off really fast. Yeah, well, what I'll also do too is um, these nice photos of it. Yeah. All aboard. Yeah, plug in shields. You can see in the bottom, it's now through hole. Lovely bumpers. So this is it. So yeah, it now comes with Nice, strong through-hole headers with these big oval pads. And uh, we'll make another revision and make this through-hole. I kind of forgot to do that, but we'll, um, we'll do that for now. This is a, a nice upgrade okay. uh, for people. So either with or without headers, both are available, but this is nice and strong. All right. Strong. Star Metro. of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, is this. It's the INA 219 Featherwing. So this is a very popular high side current and voltage sensor. Very useful for if you want to do power measurements uh, with a device. So now we have this in feather form factor. It doesn't take up a lot of space, so there's a lot of prototyping area. But that can be handy if you want to, you know, set up your wiring for your um, project. 2018, year of the wing. Year of the wing. Call so I have it. a little demo that I can show off. Hold on. So... I have uh, just a Feather M0 Express, but any Feather can be used, and I have an OLED wing, and then this is connected up to a whole mess load of NeoPixels over here. And then um, I'll plug this in, because right now it's saying, you know, there's no, no power and no current. But when I plug this in, um, you know, it tells you the voltage, so 4.1 volts, and it's drawing 1.4 amps. This is actually drawing quite a bit of current and then when it goes into this mode, you can see it goes down to 300 milliamps or 700 milliamps, so a lot less. So like this, you can see when you're you know using this NeoPixel code, for example, how much current you're drawing in real time. Um, you can display it on OLED, or of course, whatever code you like. And it's pretty easy. Just make sure that this terminal block is in between you know your power supplies. This is the power supply. It goes through the terminal block and to the NeoPixels, and that way um, it can use I squared C to measure the current draw and then display it however you like. So it works with all the feathers. So if you, no matter which feather you have, you can use this because it's only I squared C, but it's very handy uh, for adding power measurements. Okay, so new product recap. Yep. Here we go. 